Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Go Fishing with me. Today is the first weekend of March and it's around 40 degrees. The best season is finally here. But before we get into that, there's one last thing I want to check off from my list. So this is a Massapequa Lake. Today is not that windy. It's a uh, perfect fishing condition. Let's see if anyone's fishing here. A lot of goose here. You know this lake is very good for brown trout and brook trout. It's not very common in Long Island. There are only few places you can find this type of fish. Uh, I know there is one river further east. You can find some very good quality trout, but that place is a fly fishing only and you need to pay to fish there. So that is just not on my list. Uh, this is the red house that they were talking about. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch anything here. Well, there's a... Oh, I just got one! Nice! We got one! Whoa! This is super active! You gotta be a trout! Whoa! That's a nice one! Whoa! That's a nice one! That's a nice brown trout! Check this out! That's a very nice brown trout! You know, when you don't have the net, you have to wet your hands first, no matter how cold it is. Guys, this is a beautiful brown trout. Look at this. Look at the color. So pretty, huh? Beautiful trout by the red house. I don't know why, there is just a red house around every lake. And they always catch fish around the red house. Okay, buddy, whenever you... There he goes. Number one of the day. That doesn't take very long. You know, I always match the color of the lure to the type of fish I'm targeting. So today, I think it is working again. Let's see if we can catch some more. Ooh, that was a bite. I missed a bite, guys. Guys, I totally missed the bite. That was a bite. Let's get back to it. It's right there. Come back, come back. Oh, all these goats are coming out. You see that? That is so interesting. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> you guys just totally ruined my spot. <laughs> All right, I probably need to go somewhere else. You know, in general, in the winter time, it is not good to leave fish to find fish somewhere else. But I don't have much time today, and there are a few other spots I want to show you. So right now we are going to walk over to the bridge, uh, over the creek. I think they might hold some good fish there. Okay guys, we're almost there. Okay, looks like there are two people fishing here. Uh, this is the bridge I, I'm trying to show you. Oh, you got one! Nice! What is that? Car? car? That's actually a golden shiner. Yeah, that might be a shiner. 
Oh, got one. Got one. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> We're casting right under the bridge and we caught a bass. That's the first bass of this year. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, original rooster tail. Yeah. So this is our first bass this year, a very tiny dink, but we gotta start somewhere, right? Very pretty though, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's give this bass a good release. That is really an unexpected catch. We finally got our first largemouth bass for 2022. It is a tiny one, but I don't mind. I'm gonna continue to walk up this uh, creek, see if, if we can find any deeper pool of water. I still want to show you the brook trout, but I haven't seen any yet. Any luck here? Looks like a promising spot. It does. But this place is super shallow. A lot of submerged stuff. Be careful if you have a spinner bait. Oh, really? Is there any better spot you would recommend? I walk up, so if you, it's a long walk. Maybe a mile. Yeah. There's gonna be, there's two spots. Uh-huh. There's a first, it's almost like this pretty much. Maybe 10 minute walk up there to yeah. the opening like that. And then another 10 from there is the top one where the beginning lake feeds. Uh -huh. There's a lot of brookies in there, like this big, some are there. Okay. So that, it's worth the walk. That's where I just started from. I caught a couple. I Nothing see. Crazy. Today? Today, yeah. Up there, I started up there. That's okay. My face is so red. I've been out for so long. I see. So you, you, uh, you use the little magnet? Yeah, I use a trap magnet a lot. Okay. What when color do you recommend? Warmer, I use, when it gets a little warmer, I use the spinner bait. Only because I have more luck with it, but I know people who catch fish in the middle of freaking J January with spinner baits. But I use the I use the orange and yellow. So I use. see. All right, I'll check that out. Try it, go for it. Yeah, I'm I gonna. I wanted to warn you because I didn't want you to get this first cast. I know, I know. I love this spinner baits. You know, my favorite this is my first time here. I just want to check out the water. Go for it. It's All a right. Walk, so don't get demoralized. I promise. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, sir. Good luck. All right, you see, it's always good to talk to the local fishermen. Uh, some trout and bass. Do you catch anything? Yeah, a lot. You can try if you want. A lot? A lot of what? Brook trout. Oh, really? You can catch one. Oh, there's a lot then. Is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. What do you use? Well, we're uh, using flies. Flies. And fly fishing. I see. That probably catch trout. Yeah. I mean, I have some little this big spinner might be a little too big for that little thing. Cast if you want. Alright, if you don't mind, I'll just make a few casts. No, you're good. You're fine. Okay. Thanks, guys. No problem. It's so quick, ready? Okay, I'm gonna watch. Um, I was just it's taking longer than usually though. Oh. oh, I see it. I was using a very small. Uh huh. We like going for chat a lot. Like. Nice. And then this was today. That was today. Nice. It was a very, very oh, small. Oh, it's one. taking it. Yep. 
Yeah, it's taking it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you don't. Oh. Sorry. No problem, I can get it off for you. Right. Like they just stocked it here. Just stocked it? Yeah, not today, but like. Maybe Recently. Like a month ago. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of small things. Well, you know what? I'm gonna. I do have small things. You do? Yeah, I have a magnet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do, do that. Yep. I got a whole box of it. Which color do, do you think is the best? Um, orange. Orange? That one. Okay, cool. Ooh. All right, I think I'm gonna need a smaller leader. No, uh, your leader's fine. These things are not picky right now. They're feisty. Okay, really okay. Fine. Yeah, I heavy leader. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, orange. I never used this before. Oh, we got one. Nice. Oh, come on. Came off. Again. Keep going off. They're too small. Okay, right there. Yeah. She's right there. Sure. Right there? Yeah. Very, oh, very Ooh. Scary. We got one. Oh shit! I hope it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. He's good. Okay. These are very easy to come off. Alright, I'm gonna need to line one. You want more bait? No, it's okay. I just I just got one. That means this is working. That's all I need to know. Mm -hmm. This is certainly Have challenging. you ever been to the, um, the pond? It's like the world's biggest lake in Long Island. Oh, the... um, What do you call it? Wrong... Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hooked one. Oh, lost it. Even though I'm look much older, but uh, I'm still a kid. Yep. <laughs> I was fortunate that says never grow up. I know, right? Yeah, you always want to be a kid. Oh, it's so much fun. I know. Maybe put a one piece of corn. Yeah, there's one piece. You want to eat a little bit. Sometimes yeah. you go for it and they'll spit it out. Yeah, you put like Okay, now this is the real deal. Yeah. Or maybe you, you don't even need a reel, you could just wait and then when you see him bite it. Yeah, that's a good call. They can't bite this thing. Maybe if you go like a little closer over here, like reel in a little closer. Oh, I see them. Let's go. Oh, we got one. <laughs> the real one made it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a very tiny brook trout, the tiniest brook trout I've ever seen before. This is what they stocked it. So we're going to let this guy go very quick. All right, have a All right thank you very much. Yeah, you guys really helped. I think this corn is really killing it. That's corn, it is. Oh, got one. Oh yes, this one is solid hooked. Check this out. Tiny brook trout hooked in the nose. That's the only way we can get it on the bank. We're gonna release this one very quick. They can't be out of water too long. You guys can come over here, I'm living. Yeah. All right, guys, that was insane. <laughs> I caught uh, probably about 10 fish and lost another 10. So they are kind of uh, stacked there. You can literally see the fish there. It's about like a three to four feet deep water. If there's one thing you learn today, that is to talk to the local fishermen. You know, when you go to a new place, no matter how many research you do at night, there are just so many things you don't know. And those people who have been fishing here for a long time, they know far more than what you have researched. So, all right. <laughs> hey, what's up? Just out enjoying the day? Yeah, I caught a nice brown. Oh yeah? Yeah, right here. Did you release it or you got it with you still? I released it. Nice. You mind if I just check a, a freshwater uh, fishing list? Is take, this the one? Take wrong fish while uh, doing that. Long Island City, nice. All right, very good, very good. Well, very good, sir. Yeah, nice thank you very much, sir.
You have a good day? Yep.